Right, what we're going to do now is look at performing assertions in your tests. And assertions are basically when you can validate that, provided you have certain given inputs, you can validate the outputs, basically testing a slice of functionality into your tests. So we're into our project dashboard. Let's create a new goal. And let's do that against, let's uh, call this the assertions goal. And again, let's do this against our rocket shop dot virtuoso.qa. And again, create an ad first journey, which creates our journey. Live ordering runs and runs the first step. So assertions basically allow us to, to check things. And a simple one is actually, if we just create a new checkpoint here, is to check for the presence of something on the page. So whether we say using the inspect icon and then we wait for an element, this in essence is an assertion. If we wait for something to load, then we're asserting that it is present. But equally, we could also just say look for and then the rocket shop merchandise. And again, this is an assertion that again, something is present on the page. It's a simple way to check that something is present. For instance, you could be placing a sales order or a, making a quote in a ERP or CRM system. And when you save it, you want to look for a status which could be uh, logged or in progress. So this is an, uh, an assertion for something being present. Uh, we could also do and say that in the same way, we could write assert exists rocket shop merchandise. And by doing this, this actually converts it again to look for. So you can see how that's an assertion, but we could say that exert, exert and not exists. And we could say, I don't know, um, e-commerce label, for example, just any text that we don't expect to be present. So we're checking that actually this is no longer on the page. This could be after we've accepted cookies and we want to assert that the accept cookies has gone once we've clicked on it, for example. Okay, but now what we can do is combine this. We've looked before at how to store data. So for instance, if I want to click and then store the title of this product, so let's call this product title into a parameter and accept that. So now you can see that by clicking on the step and going to the side effects, we've stored Comet integration. So now we could do some assertions on this, which we could say that assert product title equals Comet integration. So we're checking the value is an exact match. We could say assert that product title is not equals and we could say comet unintegration. So we want to validate that it is, it's not a match. And you can see this passes because it's true. We could do something like and say assert that the product title contains comet. So basically a parcel match. And again, you can see that each time these are going green, we're performing these assertions. So then we could come in and we could, let's say, if we let's go and click on add to bag for the comet integration. Then we can come up, we're using the interactions here, click on the shopping bag. So click on the shopping bag, which will take us through to the uh, shopping cart. There we go. And we're gonna put a wait for in there. So wait for, let's go, um, uh, go to checkout. That's something that's unique on the page. So wait for go to checkout, which in itself again is an assertion. So that's allows store the quantity into a parameter. So let's say store this quantity, so QTY. And then we can, because we've stored that, we can just check again in the side effects. We've got one. So now we could say that we could say assert that um, QTY is less than two, for example. And so now we can do sort of um, assertions that are based on, on values. We could say assert that QTY uh, is greater than, and we could say zero. So again, that evaluates as true. Uh, what we can also do here is we can start using what we call expressions, which are just little bits of JavaScript that we can put in to be able to perform, it could be a calculation or adding things together. So for example, we could say assert, we put a dollar sign and then a bracket, and then we put in QTY plus QTY, close bracket, equals 
2, for example. So now what we're doing is an expression which is going to add together basically 1 plus 1 equals 2, for example. So this just gives us, you can see, the ability how quickly we're writing all manner of different assertions here. Now what we can also do here, we can not only assert based on, let's say, values we see on screen. If we come across, and let's say, let's take the go to checkout button, and we inspect and store the element details. So let's say this is button, and we store that into a parameter. So maybe we want to say now assert that button, which is our variable, dot. So let's look in rect. So let's say dot rect dot top equals 615. And by doing that, we can actually assert based on the element details. So this evaluates as true. Equally, we could say that assert that button dot rect dot left is greater than or equal to, let's say, 600, for example. So you can see how we can form, again, a different type of assertion here. So you can see, you know, the, all the different assertions that can be performed, which are basically evaluating the outputs of some given inputs. By doing something, I expect things to appear on screen or to calculate to certain values, which could even be at the element details as well.